What's up guys? Justin here with the SketchUpEssentials.com back with my annual Black Friday sale video for you. So in this video we're going to talk through some of the best deals for different SketchUp extensions and other SketchUp related stuff that I can find. So I'll be putting all of this on a page, my website, so that you can go check this out. I will keep this updated as deals come out or as they go away. I'll try to keep this up to date as up to date as possible. If you're interested in that list, you can check it out at the SketchUpEssentials.com slash Black Friday. Now, let's go ahead and just jump into it. All right, so first off is the discount I'm doing for the SketchUp Essentials course. So a lot of you know the SketchUp Essentials course is my detailed training for SketchUp, where not only do I have detailed step-by-step -step training, I think there's over 14 hours of instruction in there. We've also got live calls and the community forum. So you can get on the live calls to ask questions in the community forum is a great place to ask questions as well, as well as interact with the other students. So I've really built that to be the best tool for learning learning how to use SketchUp. So I currently have two discounts going on on that right now. So the first is you can get 50% off of the monthly membership. So um, that's going to be $49 a month. So if you're interested in that, that's going to be the biggest discount I'm going to do this year on the course. And I don't do a ton of discounts anyway. So this would be a great time to jump in on that if that's something you're interested in. Alternatively, if you do want kind of like a more long-term commitment to learning SketchUp, um, I am also doing a $399 annual membership. So that's going to get you 12 months of access to everything that's in the course, from the trainings, through the live calls, to the community forum. Um, that's going to be an annual payment. That's going to be even less expensive um, than the monthly version. So if that's something you're interested in, this could be a great time for you to make that longer term commitment to SketchUp. All right, so there's actually two pretty big discounts that are in here, um, especially due to how new the extensions are. The first is you can get 40% off of Sketch Plus using the code BLACKCYBER21. So if you follow the link and go purchase Sketch Plus, you can get access to that. So that's the new extension from Mindsight Studios that contains tools like Copy Along Paths. It's got tools for repeating different copies inside of SketchUp, as well as randomization tools. So basically a ton of different tools that you might see in another modeling program. Um, the SketchUp pre Previously didn't have built in. So things like um, mirroring objects and other things like that. So again, that's 40% off and that extension has been out for maybe a month or two. So it's pretty good deal to be able to get that at that high of a discount um, this soon to that being released. The other big one for me, um, because it was just released, is Scatter version 2. So if you remember, Scatter is the extension for actually scattering objects inside of SketchUp. So it's really great for creating things like uh, different plants and other things like that randomly. So placing them on your different surfaces so that you get more realistic renderings. Well, they just came out with a new version. Um, I think that was a couple months ago as well. And you can get that for 50% off using the code BF2021. A lot of these have codes by the way, so make sure that you enter those when you're checking out in order to get the discounts. But again, having something that just came out with a new version and getting it for 50% off is, in my opinion, a pretty great deal. So um, you're definitely going to want to check that out because you're probably not going to see another deal like that um, on these extensions for a while. So, um, and then there's other extensions as well. So for example, the BIM bundle, which we may talk about a little bit more, um, maybe next week or something like that. But that's basically the bundle of Profile Builder and Quantifier Pro. So when you put those together, you can build smart assemblies that add things like framing or sheathing to walls, other things like that. And then you can use Quantifier Pro to actually quantify and count them and actually generate like material and cost estimates out of your SketchUp models. So that's gonna be a really great tool set for doing those kinds of things. Um, in addition, Placemaker is also 40% off. So if you remember, Placemaker is the tool where you ba you basically single click and you can bring in things like buildings and bodies of water and paths into SketchUp using real world map data. So in addition, that's also going to give you access to high resolution images with near map data. Um, so I will note that that is an additional charge to use that data. But Placemaker itself is a great professional tool for quickly creating geographical context inside of your models. 
Um, so Transmuter is also 50% off. So I've talked about Transmuter before. I love this extension for bringing in models from outside of SketchUp. And so if you've ever tried to bring in external model files into SketchUp, you know it can be kind of tricky. So sometimes the materials won't load in properly. Um, sometimes your geometry is just too much and it crashes SketchUp. Well, what Transmuter does is it automates the process to bring those in and it allows you to adjust things like your geometry count so you can simplify that um, using an algorithm in here. For you, it's just a slider. You just adjust the slider and it changes the geometry in the model. It also will allow you to load in proxies for programs like V-Ray or Inkscape or TheraRender. And basically what that does is that allows you to bring in those PBR maps which make the more realistic renderings. So a lot of the time those come in and you don't have anywhere to put them when you're importing them into SketchUp. This tool is great for bringing in those external model files. So if you do wanna bring in external model files that weren't originally made in the SKB format, I love Transmuter for doing that. So in addition, all of Curic's extensions are 50% off. So Curic has a ton of different extensions. We've covered uh, multiple different extensions from him in the last, um, in the last year or so. So all of his extensions like Curic Section or Curic Studio, um, all of these different extensions are gonna be 50% off using that code. So Curic Space, we've talked about a bunch. Um, it allows you to evenly space object. So and then Curic Zoom Through, we've talked about on the channel, this one is gonna allow you to actually, um, it, it actually helps you jump through walls when you're zooming around so you don't get stuck in the walls. So all of Curic's extensions are gonna be 50% off. Make sure that you do use that code Black Friday. So plus spec, if you're looking for more of a BIM um, smart modeling extension for SketchUp, um, that one's going to be 30% off plus a couple months free or you can get two licenses for the price of one. So we've talked about plus back in the past, that allows you to, it, it basically, it smartens up your modeling process. So it actually creates smarter assemblies that you can actually adjust. So it's probably the closest thing to full BIM you can currently get for SketchUp. So if you're looking for something to manage that whole process, including your model setup, everything like that, plus spec can be a great fit for that. So Vertex Tools and Sub-D, um, these are two awesome extensions from TomTom. And um, you can get those by going to his website, which uh, you can click on these links in order to get there and use the code Black Friday 2021. So um, if you remember, Vertex Tools is a vertex editing tool set for SketchUp. It allows you to model using the vertices of the models rather than um, changing the faces. So um, it gets you a little closer to the kind of modeling you might see in like a blender or something like that. And so Vertex Tools pairs really well with Sub-D. So Sub-D is TomTom's subdivision surface modifier. So basically what that does is it takes simpler geometry and it subdivides it in order to make it more smooth. So you can use that in order to model simple things and then subdivide them to look more complex. So this is a great tool for subdivision modeling. So in addition, Skimp, which is the model simplification extension for SketchUp, um, is basically a tool that's designed to import those different kinds of models, those external models, and then reduce the polygons in them. You can use this to basically reduce um, the number of faces in a model. So this is a great tool for doing that. That's also 40% off with the same code on the Mindsight Studios page. Um, in addition, the Medique BIM bundle. So basically Medik BIM is the bundle of Medique Foundation, Medik Wall, and Medik Truss is 35% off. Remember Medik Medique's tool gets really in-depth with creating the different framing and foundation types um, for models inside of SketchUp. So it actually goes through and it allows you to set the size of your foundations and if they have insulation on the outside of them, as well as having uh, probably the best wall creation tool set that I've worked with. So it'll actually allow you to create your different windows inside of your framed walls and it'll actually model out that framing in a realistic way. So you can use this in order to create really detailed models. So if you are gonna create something that needs that level of detail, this is a great tool for that. And then, and then Flex Tools is 30% off of FlexPack Pro right now. So Flex Tools, if you remember, is the uh, dynamic component extension that basically comes with a library of different adjustable doors and windows. So what that does is that allows you to quickly place 
doors, windows, other things like that inside of your openings in your walls. So you can adjust the widths and the heights of the windows in order to make everything fit. It's a huge time saver if you do anything with like residential windows or anything like that. Um, pretty much everything in the components contained inside of Flex Tools is editable, giving you the ability to really control the way that your final output looks. So if you do a lot with doors and windows, um, then Flex Tools is a really great tool for that. All right, so like I said, I will keep this page updated if there are additional sales that are going on. So make sure that you check back over the next week or so to see what's still live, what's been added, other things like that. I think there's some other things out there that we haven't seen yet, but just make sure you check this out at the sketchupessentials.com slash Black Friday. So leave a comment below. Let me know what you're most excited about on this list. Um, I'm gonna be making tutorials about some of these tools in the next week. So I'd love to hear what you're most interested in. As always, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this and I will catch you in the next video. Thanks guys.